Our story of Ruth continues as a long journey from Moab to Bethlehem is coming to an end. Ruth has pledged her devotion to Naomi, to her God, and to her people. The long days in the Judean desert are behind them now. Finally, it's been a long, hot journey. And they can see the promised land just ahead. Naomi, maybe she smells the wheat, the barley, possibly the bread cooking. After all, they are in Bethlehem, house of bread. Now, we shot this scene at the end of the harvest season. We were fortunate that there was any wheat or barley to be cut at all. The farmers were kind to us. I feel blessed to have been a part of the tilling of the story. Take a look. And they came to Bethlehem at the beginning of the barley season. Ten years had passed since Naomi had left Bethlehem because of famine in the land. Reports were that the Lord had visited his people once again, and now there was bread upon the tables of Bethlehem. For Ruth, it was all very new. Would an entrance through the city gate bring with it a new life? For Naomi, it all rekindled a tragic story. Behind her, in a foreign land, she had laid to rest her loving husband and her only two sons. Hey, Mat Naomi. Al tikri li Naomi. Kri li mara. Kri li mara. Elohim amar et varo, ani mekulelet. So Naomi's return home isn't exactly home sweet home. In fact, it's quite the opposite. It's ugly. She even goes so far as to blame God for it all. Call me bitter, she says. She's lost her sons, her husband, and counts it as an affliction. However, as the story continues, we see God hasn't given up on Naomi. She's become a key link in a remarkable chain of events yet to occur. Stay tuned. 